Hi folks, Tommy Finelli here. We're going to uh, unpackage the EMS HW30C because we're going to be installing this a little bit later on into a motor coach. So let me uh, first of all break the seal. When you receive one of our units they all have a clear plastic seal on it. You need to break the seal. That'll make sure that nobody else has been in it, returned it for reasons or whatever. Make sure you have all your components. Now we've got everything out of the box. One of the things I need to point out to you on the 30 amp, the remote display cable is packaged in there. So you need to make sure you retrieve that as well as your owner's manual and information guide also. I'm going to remove the lid off the unit now. There's two screws that it comes packaged with for um, from the factory. You need to remove those two screws. Now this lid can go on either way, but if you'll notice, it says ground screw on side and under this stop uh, label that you'll peel off later, there's ground screws that go there. Obviously if you turn this here this way, there's no ground screws on the back side of the box there. So that tells you it goes that way. This tells you the input and this tells you the output or the load and, and uh, line also. For later on when you're doing your installation work here, there is a wiring diagram on the inside of your lid also that will give you some information there. Pack it inside you should have a little screw packet kit. Inside the package you're going to have two yellow wire connectors that you put on each of your ground wires that will bolt to the side. You'll have the two screws and two green nuts to go on there for your ground screws and you'll have four more screws to attach to your lid just like the screws that we took off the lid right here. So all that will be inside your package there. This is your sensor that reads your amperage packed up in here. You just need to unpack it right here. Now something I'll point out now and I'm going to point it out later in the installation. There's a little arrow on the one side. When you do the install you need to make sure that arrow points towards the contactor. This is the remote display. So you got to make sure that that's packed in there. And this is what your display looks like here. On the front of the display this is your bypass switch. The switch should always be down. When you put it up, you're in bypass, and in the installation video later, you'll be able to understand what that switch does. There's one other thing that I need to point out here also. There's a little jumper right in here. And if you pull that little jumper off, this has two time delay cycles on it. It comes from the factory with 15 second time delay. However, if you have an older unit that doesn't have a time delay built into the air conditioner, you would need to change that. And to change that, all you do is pull that little black plastic piece off, like this right here. You pull it off, save it, tape it inside somewhere or whatever, because you can always put it back on whenever you want to use it in a different RV, because this unit can be moved from one RV to another. When you do in your installation, there's two things to remember. It, uh, uh, the input and output of this besides the way the positioning of the lid is. On your contactor, it'll have an uh, L1 and an L2, and on that end of the contactor is all the little wires. That is your power coming in from the power pole outside to the, to the the surge protector. On the output side it has the T1 and T2. That is your output side going into the RV. Something that I will be mentioning in the install video is not to torque down your wire restraints on the ends of your wires too much because you can pinch the wires and when you do that you're going to have a short. So bring them down tight to where the cable can't slide in and out. Tight's tight, tight too tight is just going to create problems for you. Okay, we're going to package the unit back up here, put everything back in it. We're going to be heading outside. We have a motor coach waiting for us out there. Show you the correct way to install it into an RV. 